Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the read switch or sometimes it's called a magnetic switch. This can be used with conjunction to a relay and Arduino to do something or without Arduino. If you are using one of those relay module, you can use it in conjunction with these two without Arduino to control something. The read switch has three pin. So here we have VCC or five volts. This one is ground and that is the output. This is a magnetic switch that when it gets closer to magnet, the contact between these two pin, this will switch and turn on. But because it's very low current, this cannot activate something. So we have some amplifier here uh, that uh, amplifies the signal. And also we can set the sensitivity of this read switch with this potentiometer so you can put a, a screwdriver here and adjust it so one of the example of the read switch example is this one that is at the door or by by the window so this has a magnetic field when it gets close to this this switch is turned on and the signal at this pin will go high or it goes so this is five volts so that will be also five volt when it's close to the magnetic field then you can use this to trigger something for example this can be uh, the burglar alarm and the door is close to this when the door opens this will get away from here and this will turn off and as a result you can detect it and turn on an alarm or something or maybe even trigger a Arduino application to send SMS or take the picture or activate the camera, whatever you want. Also, this can have multiple application in industrial application in robotics, and it's unlimited the way it can be used. So let me explain the relay. This is the five volts Arduino relay. So it has three connectors here. The connectors are labeled as common, normally connected, normally open. The normally connected, when you put two wires, there is no power or anything. So these two will be connected. So the wire goes here, connected, gets out. Normally open is the one that between the common and here, normally they are open. So when you connect your wires, you always put one here and the other wire either here or here. So the middle never changes. So that is the one. The relay works with five volts. So here is the size from this side and also from this side. So now we have here, we have three pins. On the left side, it says VCC. So this one needs five volts. And then here, this is a ground or the negative wire. And this is the input where you need to send the signal. When the signal comes, this will be activated. So let me explain the AC bulb here. So this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on but i have disconnected one of these two wires here so let me show you so i've just cut this wire from here now this can be connected to the uh, relay the relay job is to just connect it so it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. I've connected the relay, one of the wires, at the middle on that side and this wire is connected at the normally open. Now it's not connected to the power and here is a bulb. So I've connected the five volts from Arduino, this is the five volts. The red one is connected to five and then G and D. So black, I'm connecting it to the breadboard. So this is my five volts and then this is a ground. And uh, uh, read switch is connected. So on the right side, that is VCC. Connecting it to the five volts. And then connecting the ground to the ground and then now the Arduino the read switch is on so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it without Arduino Arduino is just supplying the 5 volts so you can get the 5 volts from anywhere that you wish this is on now now let me connect the magnet closer to this and see the light 
You see that the green light? The green light is on. When I get it closed, so the green light is on. This can work now. I'm going to connect it to relay. So five volts. The, the VCC and this is the ground. I'm connecting it. So the ground is connected to the ground, and then five volt. The VCC is connected to the five volts. Now we have power. And then let me connect the signal in. So that is the signal. The signal will be connected to the last pin on the right side of the uh, read switch. Now let me just connect this and see. You see? the Here, look, pay attention to this light. When it gets closer, the light is on. So the effect is the opposite. So now it will be connected. When this is closer, the switch is on and LED is on. So here we can control the relay such that either when this is get closer, the relay should turn on the light, or when it, when it gets away, the relay should turn on. Now, this will get turned on when it's closer. So now let me get, so now that's the light. So let me just make this closer. So the light is on, off. So now if you want to do it the reverse, just remove this wire from here and put it there and it will be the opposite. Now I have connected the wire in the opposite way. So the middle and the other one is now connected. As you can see, it's connected to the middle and the last one. So if I connect this to the power, the light is on, and let's say the door is open. So you close the door, and the light is off. So if somebody opens the door, this will turn on the light. So you can do the slide, or maybe you can do the alarm, or maybe you do something else. So this is without Arduino, it works perfectly. Now let's put Arduino so you can control more timing, and without even switching the wires, you can just change a code and it will do the reverse. To use this with Arduino, the relay which was connected to the read switch, I'm connecting the relay, the input of the relay, to the pen 10. So this is pen 10. And then the read switch will be to pin 2, which is the input. So I'm going to connect this to pin 2. So this is connected now. This is, the, the, is connected to the pin 2. Now Arduino is here. So, so let me show you here how it works. Now, now the relay is on here. Gets closer. This is on. But I can switch the position of the relay as well. Okay, so this is on now. We can say that this, when this is here, the relay should be off. So we can connect the, control the code, how this relay, the relay behaves. So here is the code. The code is very simple. We put the delay, that's the reading time that it reads, which you can change it later on. That's a loop delay. This line, this is the setup. So between the beginning and end, I have three lines here. Uh, this is setting the serial monitor so it can print a text for us, which you see it here later. And we are setting pin 10 as an output that is connected to relay, and pin 2 that is as an input that reads the read switch, and this is printing the text for us, and nothing else. After that, inside the loop, this is the read switch. When it reads a pen 2, digital read, we say go read a pen 2. If there is value or it detects that the switch is on, then print this on the screen. It says switch is on. And also send the output to low, pen 10, to low, and then which turns on the relay. And then if that is not true, if, if there is no switch or anything, we say turn it high. Okay? So the pen 10 will be high. So now it's our job to determine this either high or low so it can work. So if you want it like this, that when this is connected, the light should be off, which most of the time you need, you need it like that. 
when this is connected, the door is close to the magnet, you want the light to be off. So we can manage it the other way from here. So one way would be to just switch these wires. The middle stays here, move the other wire to this side. And the other way is to change the code. So to change the code, just here, switch it to high. And then when there is no signal, set it to low. So let me update, upload the code. Oh. Now the switch is on because there is nothing. So. So let me show you how this works now with a read switch. Now let's say the door is closed or something is closed and the read switch is on because it's closer to the magnet and you can, you can see the green light on the read switch here. It's on. So let me turn on the uh, monitor. Okay, so now if I make this away, on the screen it shows on, the switch is on, so actually the alarm is on, and here it just stops. On, and then it stops. So we can put some other... So you can get the code for this project by clicking at the description link or maybe just go directly to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So now let's have a look at the situation that you want the door, when the door opens, the alarm should not go off uh, until five seconds. So if you want five seconds, I've just added this delay here. I put 5,000 milliseconds, 5,000 is five seconds. So if you want 10 seconds, just make it 10,000. So now, let's say, the, uh, now as you can see, the light is off, the door is closed. These two are closed. So when the door gets away, pay attention, it waits for five seconds before the light goes. One, two, three, four, five, that's five seconds, and then the light starts. So this is in case for entering some kind of code or something, if you enter the house, it gives some time, so you can set it. 10 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever you want. And then when you connect it, again, it will wait 10 seconds before the alarm starts activating. So this way you can control the amount of time that before the alarm starts. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and also please subscribe. I appreciate it.